Hello everyone and welcome back to another top 5 video but this time we will feature on AA vehicles and infantry as we already went through the other tabs of air and helicopters and this time we have a look on all the things that shoot those down in the game currently and which are my favorites. It's a personal list, we will have a vote in the end when we're going through all of this with all of your top votes. And yeah, you can already let me know down below what you think is the best AA in the game. But without further ado, let's get the party started and let's go on to my number 5. And the number 5 is the Roland 3, which is available both for Germany and for France. It's a weapon system developed in the 1970s with the original Roland and the 1988 upgrade with the Roland 3, which is just perfectly in the time frame here. And it's the state-of-the-art French and German AA in the game. And it's quite solid. Good range against helicopters, good range against aircraft, with solid accuracy on it as well. The 6 HE damage means that it two hits everything as well. Only issue being that it only has two launchers, and then it has quite the reload time afterwards with 20 seconds. That being an issue here. But outside of that, a fantastic little AA piece. Absolutely enjoying the Roland. And yeah, let's move on to number four. On spot number four is the Tunguska, the only dual weapon system in the AA tab currently, the most expensive one as well. A weapon system developed in the late 70s, early 80s in service with, since the early 80s with the Soviet forces, with the Red Army, and still in use to the modern day, also used on both sides in the war in Ukraine. And yeah, it's quite capable, especially since it got some buffs both to its guns and also to its fire between the missiles and the guns. It's the most expensive AA and that is its biggest weakness, that it is expensive. Its range against aircraft also a bit low, but what it has is fantastic range against helicopters and it outranges the ATGMs so it can hit them from afar uh, and the guns also stun them really quickly and with its guns it always has reliable damage against aircraft flying over it and re good reliable damage and the missiles if they hit and then the guns can fire you often get a kill with both the missiles also are at the damage level where even armored helicopters always get two shotted by this and armored planes the seven damage is a really nice spot there even the armored planes not really having much of a chance against those so a really really good system only available in two decks but i love them both in the 79th and the 119th they were overpriced back in the day, the guns were underperforming, but by now they perform quite nicely. And with future buffs to AA, when helicopter armor gets nerfed a bit, which is on the way, they should improve even further. And spot number 3 goes to the M998 Avenger, a system also just coming into service in 1989 with the US Army and the US Marines. And it has seen service since then everywhere. Gulf War, it has seen service in Iraq and Afghanistan, and it also has been sold or sent to Ukraine for defense of public areas there against drones, and yeah, it's a really, really good air defense system in the game as well, as it has forward deployment, it is quick, and its massive advantage over normal Stinger teams is that it has a rapid fire on these missiles. It doesn't have to wait for a reload, it can fire the next Stinger immediately out of its 8 pots. The 50 cal can also be helpful in a pinch against infantry, but against helicopters not so helpful. Um, and yeah, the Stingers, you can't hit it with seed, it has 8 missiles that it can fire rapidly. And that means every helicopter dies to this really quickly, and planes don't want to stay over it either. And this is really the strength of the Avenger Para. That's why it is so expensive. Can't hit by seat, is mobile, and it has really quick rapid fire on those missiles. The range is not perfect, and obviously everything on the ground that can hit it kills it quickly. But it also just looks fantastic. The looks being another big part for me, liking this thing. It just looks like something out of a Command and Conquer. And yeah, absolutely lovely thing. Let's move on to spot number two, and let's see what that one is. And spot number three is the 9K37 Book M1, a long-range AA system used since the early 80s, and in act action in the 
Georgian war, where it shut down some Russian tanking planes in Syria and in the current conflict in Ukraine. And it is a really long range missile, the longest in the game, 6,000 meters in game, and then 3,000 meters against helicopters, so it can hit outside of helicopter max range as well, though you w most likely want to use it against aircraft. And it has 9 damage per hit, it one shots. 8 hit point helicopters. It also one shots now a couple of planes that were reduced in hit points. For example, the Mirage 3s, which have become a lot scarier to use as the French because the first hit of a unit like this and they're just gone, like they should be, as obviously these missiles are nothing to toy with. And this is an absolutely great system to tax the enemy. Now you just have to be on the eye with your anti artillery movement and anti-seed micro and outside of that you will keep this like sky clean or you will clean it out eventually at least enemies can't fly l for long in the range of books and they have the range to cover all of your front line any bomb coming in will be hit by these unless the enemy escorts them well with seed or gets a kill onto your book systems with artillery and this means that this is the perfect air defense you get priced accordingly for it but it is just a fantastic piece of kit absolutely loving this thing and yeah, that's why it is on number two. Let's move on to the final list. Let's freaking go. And my number one is obviously the blowpipe. Best AA system in the game, selling it to the Falklands, best maneuver that the British ever did, giving the enemy just as for a bad of a weapon system. No, obviously, <laughs> this is the best meme in the game, but sadly not the best AA. Let's move on to the real number one, which is, is the M48 Chapral system used by the US Army in the 3rd US and 8th US Infantry and it's a really fantastic mobile system works well together with its brother in the pivot and works well on its own as well fantastic range against helicopter longest range against helicopter in game with the 3000 meter can clean out enemy helicopters quite nicely and works well against planes as well especially for it not being the radar Accuracy a bit mediocre, but it's relatively affordable. It's one major weakness and the one nitpick that we would have here is that it doesn't carry four more missiles, which it historically should, as there are spaces for four more missiles here in the body of the vehicle. But outside of that, the four missiles that it fires, it fires quite rapidly and it hits really hard with them. You usually kill helicopters before they can get an ATGM range and if you don't, you at least stun them and this it makes the Chaparral so good. Great against helicopters, which are a menace at the moment and can't be hit by seed and eventually will kill all the enemy planes as well. So Chaparral, fantastic little thing. Absolutely my number one AA piece. Has been the number one AA piece in the game for a long while. Really loving this thing and hating to play against it as my helicopters always have to be careful because you often get shot from a Chaparral before you even spot it and that is always painful because the first one hits you you get stunned second one follows and kills you often you still want to use them in pairs to really have the efficiency but even on their own they're quite nice only issue as i said you have to keep a supply truck but yeah these are my top five aa vehicles we will move on to recon next time and yeah what are yours what is your favorite aa unit in the game which ones did i miss out that you would put in this list let me know down below and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Have a great day.